All right, hi everybody. We are back in the city of Andea, and we're gonna keep this series going about me just talking about stuff in cities. Uh, so we're in sort of near Central Park. It's kind of over there a little bit. Um, so this is one of the newer areas. Uh, so we have an architecture firm. This is the building I made in one of my other videos that I released, I think it was last week. So I just wanted to show you how much of a difference it can make when you can actually decorate your streets properly. Because this right here, uh, a few hours ago, this was just completely blank. So we're gonna do the same thing, except I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it over here. So we have our street lights pasted in here and I'm just gonna kind of go through step-by-step step of what I do here. So first of all, we are gonna start with the street lights, which we already did. So one, two, I don't really wanna put any over here cause it's gonna get pretty crowded cause this is more of a two lane. It did have lines in the middle, um, but since it is um, sort of a roundabout here, I, I felt like it would be best just to remove them. I think it looks a little bit cleaner. So yeah, there's there's not really much of a point to putting lines here. So one of the things that I like to do is I have all this stuff over here. So we take gravel and yes, you might notice this. This is just cubes pack. If you wanna use the texture pack, it's in the description. So this here, when you have your parking spots like this, if you have all of this just as greenery, then you get out of your car and then you can't get up here because it's just gonna be covered in you know grass and leaves and stuff. But once you put this in here, it makes it so much easier. So I like using this and I like mixing it with the grass here as well. So if I take a grass block here, put some of this here. Again, you need OptiFine for this. It connects it right there, so it's really cool. So along the edges here, uh, we are just gonna put some gravel. And then we're gonna come on here. Uh, since we have that done there, we're just gonna do the same thing right here. Okay, so we have this here now and we're just gonna do the exact same thing. So this is just kind of random here. As you can see, I, it's not really trying to follow any pattern. I just placed them down randomly just to give it you know, a little more texture to your city. So now we're just gonna do the same thing, except we're just gonna fill in all the gaps with some grass blocks here. And you know, it's not just gonna be only you know, right here and here. I'm gonna try and pull it out a little bit here since the sidewalk is pretty big. And I mean, I can expand and contract it as much as I want. Um, but yeah, we're going to try that here. So here we go. Okay. So I decided we're not going to put it the entire way. Uh, we're just going to leave a little bit of gap here. So if there is somebody that wants to jaywalk here and doesn't want to walk all the way down there, they can. Yes. I know this urban planning is sort of encouraging jaywalking, but I mean, who doesn't jaywalk? Let's be honest here. All right, there we go. So we have that all done there. I know it looks, uh, you know, a little bit weird too. Actually, right across from here, I'm just gonna replace this. Add something like that. Okay, so again, for jaywalking, I know that's really bad urban planning and nobody actually does that, but I do that because this is Minecraft. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of this. And now our next step is to add some greenery. So the greenery that I've decided for this, we are going to use large ferns regular grass, some spruce leaves, and beetroot seeds. So this here, um, I don't wanna have to use bone meal every time, so I'm just gonna copy this and then I'm just gonna paste this everywhere. Okay, so all our beetroot seeds are in. So next up, I'm just going to place grass on every single one of these blocks. Um, Okay, if you try and place it on top of these, it's not gonna work. So the reason I wanna put grass on every single one of these blocks, even though we still do have two blocks left that we are going to put in, plus some trees, is when you have grass here, grass is one of the few things that if you take spruce leaves and you just click on it, it's just gonna replace it. So if I take spruce leaves and try and put it on this here, it's not gonna replace it, it's just gonna go on top. So I'm gonna replace everything here with grass. Okay, so we have all our grass in place and I might decide to thin it out a little bit since this here is a little bit more thick than the areas over there. Cause that's, I guess that's only, oh, that's only one wide. Okay. So I'm going to decide to thin this out a little bit. So I'm here and there, I'm just going to take a couple out. And while we're at it, I'm going to add the spruce leaves and some large ferns as well.
All right, so we have our greenery in place. The shadow here is just kind of taking over, but that's all right. We got we got lights for a reason. Okay, so next up we have our secondary greenery, also known as you know trees. So along here, I want to kind of keep this pattern going. So I have these ones there. These trees are that one there, and I just pasted that right there just so I can copy and paste it uh, a lot easier. And then we might decide to use a couple of these pines here, which I also put over here. You know, just kind of sprinkle them around here. So right here, I'm, I'm going to use world edit here. If you don't have world edit, this is going to be very, very painful trying to use these over and over. And I know I preach, you know, don't use default trees, but if you absolutely have to, I guess it's okay. I guess. So I'm going to do double slash copy, and then I'm going to add minus B for the biome. So it copies the biome here as well. So we're in the forest biome here because if you are in the plains biome then some of these here these just turn into you know uh, normal oak fences so i think if we go over here yeah so they look like that so again cube pack is biome dependent i'm just going to do that again because i want it from that side so let's see here i'm just going to kind of eyeball this so i'm going to go across from here paste minus a minus b there we go and I'm actually going to do this little trick where I grab a piece of red wool and I will show you what that does in a second. Okay, that one there, let's see. So I want roughly the same spacing. So these are in groups of three and then they are interrupted by streetlights here. So I'm just gonna eyeball this. Oops, that's on the wrong side. Let's try it right here. Minus A, minus B. Minus A just means it pastes without the air, and then B is without the biome. So then you just double check up here. Make sure it didn't actually touch anything, didn't mess up any of these biomes here. My Google Home's going off, if you can hear that. Okay, we're gonna put another one here. And since I don't want them to look all identical, you can do this little trick where you, you know, rotate it. And then if you want, you can go up by one block. Actually, let's make it two. Okay, we're gonna go right here. Paste minus A minus B. That was, hold on a second. Actually, I wanna rotate it 180 degrees. Minus A minus B, okay. There you go, you got your second one. So with this here, below this, I'm just gonna put two red wool just so I know I need to replace those after I am done. So all I'm gonna do, actually I'll do, no, I'll do it after because the world letter that we use is a little bit glitchy sometimes. And sometimes when you make selections, when you already have something on your clipboard, it likes to mess up. So I'll show you that in a second. Okay, we're gonna put another one. Let's see, minus A minus B. I keep putting it on the wrong side here. That's one of the struggles with uh, pasting and rotating a lot. We're gonna do that. And I'm gonna make sure I don't mess up his builds. Okay. Then let's see here. I want, let's put another one like right Actually, okay, I'm planning on having a road that goes in here. At, well, not a road, but it's gonna turn into a parking garage that goes underneath here. And then underneath here is gonna be an underground parking garage. Uh, I got this idea. There's this one in Ottawa. I'll put a uh, pictures on the screen if I could find one, uh, but it goes underneath a road and there's a parking garage there and it's a really clever use of space. So I'm gonna try that too. Okay, so instead of putting it there, I'm just gonna put one right here instead, minus A, minus B. Make sure the biomes are all okay. Yep, that looks good. Okay, so we have that side. Now let's put a handful on this side here. I wanna put one kind of right in here. Okay, there we go. There we go. The thing I like about these trees too, uh, these ones in specific, or yeah, specific, I don't know what I'm saying. So these ones here, these trees right here, I like them because they have one, two, three, four, probably five or six blocks until you hit the leaves. They're not too high up. And when you're still walking, it feels like a normal tree. So these trees, I did not make these. These, um, they were actually made by the developer of Cube Pack, uh, Anna. She's uh, one of our staff members here on Cube. Um, she's a really good builder, and she is very, very good at making trees as well. So, and again, if you visit Southern Marina here in Andea on Cube Community, uh, if you go to Southern Marina, a lot of the builds are hers, and she's very, very talented. So we're gonna keep going with the trees here. We have that one. Okay, I'm gonna put another one right here. And then let's see here. Let's uh, let's do one more right here. Make this one too tall. Okay, there we go. Okay, so these here, we're gonna fill in the gaps with some of those pines there. So what we're gonna do here, 
is I'm going to select this one block. Stack two down. Oh, we have one of our builders there. And then take this. Stack two down. So that's why I leave the red wall. So that it's really, really easy to see. And then when you come in here, you're going to stack it right down. Okay. So now that we have that there, uh, actually, before we get to those trees, I want to... This is just um, a player head on top of some nether brick fences. So I'm going to copy this. And this is just to say, look, there is parking here. So I just kind of want to put this right here. So that when you're around here, you have that there you can come in and then you know you might not see the parking spaces immediately but then you can see this parking sign and then yeah you can come in here these parking spaces are interesting <laughs> i don't know who made them but uh, they're, they're kind of cool it's really creative that they put it around the side of the roundabout that's that's kind of fun oh yeah i want to show you this here too so i was working on the street earlier this street was really blank um i decided or i was kind of running out of space so i had these parking spaces all along here uh but then the the specialist who built this building here um, they said, well, how are you going to get the trucks in there, you know, back into this back alley if there's no, you know, way in there. So I, I did that. And then I was, I, I kind of had a little bit of trouble because I couldn't just block off one of them. I had to block off two full parking spaces. Um, and I didn't want to do this thing, you know, the whole time. So I decided, Hey, you know what, let's do this. Let's add this yellow concrete here on the river biome. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll add some motorcycle parking spots too. And it ended up being just the perfect size. So yeah, that's, so that's how that got there. But anyway, we'll go back to here. So we have that parking sign and now we're just going to jump right into it with the pine tree. So I just want a handful of these here. I don't want to overwhelm it. Uh, we're going to put one of these here. So I'm going to do double slash position one. And I'm going to fly upwards. So I'm basically creating a rectangle here, a virtual rectangle. So my selection is from right here and it's in a box right to down here. Okay. And then I'm going to go here. I'm going to copy and copy the biome. Okay, there we go. So there you go, it goes up there. You know, it collides a little bit, but I think that that actually looks okay. Actually, hold on, let's undo. I'm just gonna do a regular paste so it doesn't mess with the biome. Because a second ago you saw that these were just normal oak and now they're actually the, uh, the texture there. Double slash paste minus A and then I'll do the biome as well. Hopefully that doesn't mess anything up. Okay, so the thing with this here too, you have to be really careful when you have trees overhanging onto uh, parking spaces like this that use different biomes. Because then if you look up, we have this here and these change textures again. So usually what I do here is I just delete them because I really don't want to deal with them. All right, so we have that there. We have those trees and I want to put one of these here as well. This might be too close. So I'm going to try that. The biomes are a little bit messed up. Yeah, it looks okay, I guess. Yeah, actually, you know what? Let's keep it. Okay, so now that we have that, we are going to put the final touches on it. I have a couple things here. So I have this fire hydrant, which is actually a cake. So I just want one of these. And again, obviously you can't get this in default. Please go into cube pack. So let's see, let's put this. I'm not gonna bother rotating it. I'm just gonna put this right here. So I'm gonna put it on gravel where you have, actually, I'm gonna spread this out a little bit. I'm gonna take out this grass. Just so if there are firefighters here that need this, then they can access it from this side and from this side here. And I'm not going to put it up against a, a parking spot here just because, you know, if somebody is parking parked here and the, you know, the firemen need to access it, they're going to have to break through the windows. Um, again, it's just small details like this that you think of. And, you know, the more small details like that you think of in your city, the better your city's going to be. And people will notice it. I promise you they will, especially me. If I'm flying around your city, I will notice all these small details. Okay. So we have that. We're going to take a bench. Put one there. Maybe one over here. And then, you know what? Let's go right here too. Even though it's kind of sticking into the leaves there. That's all right. Okay. And then the final touch. If we fly back over here, I put them somewhere. Yes, there we go. So we have our cubed pack garbage can so if you're in default you can pick another design for this if you want to use trapdoors or something so usually i like to put this you know near benches so i'll put one here i don't want to overdo it but you want to have enough garbage cans so that if you're out and about and you have something and you say oh i need to throw this out you look around for a garbage can and then oh where's one? Oh, there's you know there's a couple over there and then you know maybe i'll put one right here too just kind of hidden at the back Okay, and then that's it. So there's your street. 
So if you scroll back to the start of the video here, you can see that there is quite a difference. I'll put my speed down here and then give you a little cinematic tour. So again, it looks a lot better. You know, if you're making your city, add trees. Please add trees, please add greenery. It's really hard to overdo it. If you think you're overdoing it, then, you know, just relax a little bit. But yeah, I think it looks much, much better. So again, uh, if you have any suggestions for videos of just, you know, little topics you wanna see, then, you know, put them in the comments there and I will add it to my list. So anyway, I'm Matt and I'll see you next time.